hello everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today and welcome for today's webinar calculation of steel connection stiffness. Uh, first of all, uh, just a short introduction. We are using uh, GoToWebinar. Uh, you can see a panel on the right which will help you to set audio setting and enter questions into the message window. Uh, so you are in listen only mode. So please use this chat window when you have any questions and you can submit any question at any time during the presentation. Uh, we will answer questions after the practical session. Uh, and let me introduce uh, myself and uh, my team. My name is uh, Marek Michna. I am consultant for sales and support in Idea Statica. And uh, we have here two product engineers, Martin Rolny and uh, Vít Hurčík. Uh, they will go through a practical session and they will show you examples uh, related to today's topic. Uh, today's topic is uh, focused on steel joint stiffness and uh, as you probably know stiffness of joint uh, can have a big influence on redistribution of internal forces on beam member in beam member which are connected to steel joint that's that's why uh, it is important uh, to check joint stiffness in your global model analysis uh, idea statica provides automatic tool for steel joint stiffness it is possible to get a complete uh, diagram like it's shown on the screen and uh, we will show you uh, all steps which are needed uh, to calculate the stiffness and uh, how to uh, define the calculation. Uh, we will go through three examples. Uh, first is T-shape connection uh, with various design alternatives. Second one is footing of a column. And uh, the last is complex joint, which will be imported from Tecla structure software. So these three examples we will explain. And after uh, the webinar is, uh, or after the webinar there will be short survey and if you are interested in uh, trial license you just simply say yes no in in the survey and of course uh, we will record uh, the webinar and we will send you a link uh, that you can check uh, offline uh, after the webinar uh, you can also check our website ideastatica.com and uh, at the end uh, we have a special offer for you who joined this uh, webinar so please stay till the end uh, of the practical session and I will explain um, in more detail uh, what we prepared uh, for you. Okay. Uh, so now let's uh, start uh, with practical session. I will give presenter to my colleague. Uh, just a second. Thank you very much, Marek, for the introduction. We will proceed with the first example. According to your code 1993, First eight, section 522, we can classify the behavior of the connection to the three classes, rigid, pinned, and semi-rigid. First two is widely used in the engineering praxis and every engineer knows its behavior. But in real construction, the majority of connections is semi-rigid. Do engineers calculate with the flexibility in their finite element analysis models? Simple example, rigid frame with a linear load along the length of the member. Results for rigid connection and pin connection is obvious and it's known and we can guess it easily. But if we add a flexible hinges on the ends of the of the beam here and here, 
uh, with the certain value of the flexibility, for example, 17 mega Newton meters per radian, and recalculate the project, the load is redistributed and the values of internal forces are different than in the first step. Flexibility of the connection has a major impact on the internal forces. Ideostatica connection uh, provides the initial stiffness and a lot of other information. Now we will proceed to the first example. Let me define the new project. We will choose simple T connection. At the first step, we just need to uh, change the appropriate analysis type and then we can define the geometry. In a second, I will choose the appropriate members. Great, we define the geometry. We will load the members. Uh, if we add bending moment around the epsilon axis, we will get the uh, stiffness around the epsilon axis. Let's design the connection. We will design a cleat, sorry, fin plate. And adjust some properties. Now we defined our fin plate. We will proceed by the adding the fin plates to the top and the bottom flange. Now we will adjust the bolt grid and a little bit change the shape of the plate. We would like to have a bevel on the edges. Great, we defined our top, top flange fin plate. Let's copy these manufacturing operations and uh, rearrange this uh, fin plate to the bottom flange. Now it's done. And we uh, want to make this connection stiffer, so we will add stiffeners to the column related to the beam. We will make them in an angle. Great, we finished with the design of the joint. Let's check this joint by a stiffness analysis. Meanwhile, I, will, I would like to show you our uh, place where you can find uh, information. Uh, visit ideastatica.com go to the resources, Ideastatica Steel, and here you can find tutorials, and of course, this stiffness tutorial, step by step, or you can watch the video file, or download the source files for the uh, tutorial. I want to uh, describe you uh, the the things which can program give you. So I will go to the theoretical background and step on the stiffness analysis. And Aya Statica connection provides you a simple stiffness diagram, uh, which provides uh, 
a lot, a lot of useful information. This diagram is dependence uh, of the bending moment on the rotation, which is this green curve. Another things which are displayed in the diagram is, for example, level of the design load, limit value of capacity of connection for 5% equivalent strain for plates, two-thirds of limit of capacity, which is here, and in the point of intersection between a green curve and this limit is our uh, point to define the, uh, the line, and tangent of this line is our uh, value of initial stiffness. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the example is calculated and we can discover the, uh, the results. Here we have some summary and in the top rotational stiffness we can discover uh, this stiffness diagram and uh, see the class of this connection is semi-rigid with initial stiffness 25.1 mega newton meters per radian. This is all from our first example and I would like to pass the presenter to my colleague Martin. Okay. Thank you, Vit. So let me continue with another example. Okay, so here I have prepared in advance a, a project with a one beam, uh, with a, which is a connected uh, by a base plate to a, some concrete, uh, let's say, column or some concrete part. Uh, it is uh, connected through a stiffening member by a bolt, which is welded to that ba base plate. Uh, we have a, a stiffening plate, which is also welded uh, to, to this, uh, to, to, the, to a base plate, yeah. Uh, so there's a, there's a one part or some part of this connection. Uh, I would like to also show you a way how can we easily copy the existing operations to define the bottom part of this connection. So now I will just select an existing uh, operation, click a button copy and uh, update some uh, properties. For example, to move it from a top flange to a bottom one and change the position from rear to bottom. So here we have a, a new stiffening plate. In the same way, I will copy the, uh, the weld, set it on a proper, proper position, uh, the bolt grid, and again, I will just change it from a top flange to a bottom and from uh, to a correct uh, uh, plate. And finally, let uh, me copy the, uh, the, the, the stiffening plate. And I will put it on a SP3 uh, in the front position. And uh, finally, just to finish the, the weld and put it on SP4, sorry, uh, base plate and SP4 here. So you can see that I have just in an easy way modeled the bottom part of this, uh, of this connection and we can uh, calculate the stiffness analysis. Before that, just let me check uh, the setting of this. Uh, we, so we need to set a stiffening analysis define the correct uh, load, some bending moment, and we can start the you know, stiffening, stiff, stiffness analysis. Uh, just to speed up our webinar, I have the same project uh, which uh, was calculated uh, in advance because we don't need to wait for the analysis, which uh, could, to, could take, I think, something about one minute in this case, and uh, just me show the result. So as you see, we have a semi-rigid connection in this case, we again can provide you this quite nice uh, diagram, the ratio between the bending moment and the rotation of the, of, of the beam. 
uh, and the initial stiffness of this connection. So that, uh, that was the example about the, the anchoring and calculation of the stiffness of connected member. And uh, now let me continue with the last example, which is about the link uh, with uh, the class structures. So here I have uh, prepared uh, some connection in Tecla and I will uh, easily export it to our idea statica connection. To do that I just need to, uh, to start our uh, macro in Tecla. Here you see that I just need to select a, a node, connect it beams and finally uh, the parts of the connection, so the uh, plates, welds and bolts and uh, now in background the project is uh, automatically generated and idea statica connection is uh, all, uh, launching with this uh, project now the so now we received uh, that uh, you know, the same I'd say the same connection in idea statica just to show me the results so here we have the original connection and uh, in the class structures and here we have, here we have the imported uh, joint into idea statica connection as you see uh, all parts were imported there is for example some small uh, uh, part to we need to update some part for example uh, here the uh, the welds because there were two welds defined in a, uh, on a one edge uh, in tecla uh, which is what is possible but uh, this cannot be uh, done in idea statica because we need a proper analyze the analyzing model so I can easily go to the design select a, a, a weld and change it from one side fillet to double fillet and uh, f update this uh, this uh, welds to put it into the correct shape yeah so the same uh, could be in the top uh, with the top flange and uh, I can finish this in this way so as you see that's quite easy to adapt this uh, this uh, uh, model to put it into the correct shape and we can again just go to the uh, project items set the stiffness analysis uh, define in the load effects uh, uh, one uh, load effect with a bending moment and again start the uh, analysis as you see it's quite fast uh, to to do when we use uh, Tecla structures, and again, just let me show the uh, the calculated project, which uh, was uh, which was the same. So we can obtain the classification. Again, it's a semi-rigid connection. Initial stiffness of this of this connection and this uh, ratio between the bending moment and the rotation of the of the beam in the nice diagram. So that was the that was uh, the third example which I, uh, which uh, I wanted to demonstrate today. Now I will give uh, back a presenter to to Marek, mm, and then okay. we can go through, through your questions. Uh, thank you, Martin. Uh, before I take a presenter, I I will uh, give it uh, again to Beat because he wanted uh, to show something more. Just a second. Okay, and uh, after Reed's presentation, uh, we can go through the questions, and I after that I ex I will explain our special offer for today's uh, attendees. So, Reed, you can continue. Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, only just a small conclusion to the end of our webinar. Uh, we can uh, we did some little bit. Um, study uh, you can see we used several types of connections and calculate the stiffness uh, for example if you create a connection uh, by uh, cleat uh, or thin plate which is welded uh, it has 10 times higher stiffness than the same connection only used with the bolts uh, if you make welds with the connection, uh, the web top and bottom flange, uh, it has a 
higher, a lot of higher stiffness than, uh, for example, the end plate, even with the stiffeners uh, with, in the column. Uh, so, uh, the welds uh, increases the stiffness, stiffness of, the, uh, of the connection uh, really much. Uh, you can create or calculate the stiffness even on this, uh, on this uh, connection uh, in which you have a lot of entities cleats, uh, stiff, stiffening members and everything. Which is interesting, we can compare uh, typical connections. We add only a stiffening uh, ribs here, stiffeners, and we create, we increase the stiff, stiff, stiffness uh, of this connection two and a half times from semi-rigid to rigid. In this comparison, we have connection with end plates and six bolts and uh, stiffeners. If we add a haunch with the flange, you can see we almost uh, 10 times increased the uh, stiffness <laughs> and this connection is really rigid. Uh, so this was an uh, example as a conclusion to this webinar. Now I want to uh, create a, a past presenter to Mark again. Okay, thank you, Reed. Uh, so uh, that was all uh, about uh, today's examples. Uh, if you have uh, questions, please put it uh, into this uh, message window like you see on the screen. And uh, before we go to the answers, uh, I would like to uh, explain what I said at the beginning, that we have this special offer uh, for you, especially who uh, you are not uh, customers. Uh, we offer you uh, this option that we can verify uh, your steel uh, connection projects. What does it mean? It means uh, that just simply you can send an uh, email with details about your still connection project uh, and we will show you uh, results from Idea Statica, how it was calculated. So it's some kind of uh, verification of your design and we also can uh, show you by online demo how Idea Statica works on your real examples which you are deals uh, every day and uh, you can see more uh, directly uh, on your example. So just put uh, details uh, into email and please uh, send it uh, to me and uh, we will contact you after that and we arrange an online demo. So that's about uh, this special offer and now let's uh, go to the uh, let's go to the questions and answers. Uh, I, I just look into the question panel. Uh, first question uh, was uh, related uh, to the classification of stiffness, of joint stiffness, how we define the limits for the stiffness classification. Uh, maybe I will ask Martin to... Okay, uh, so let me share uh, the settings in Idea Statica. So there are um, some properties uh, which uh, we need to take uh, care about. So first of all, for each member, uh, we need to define the theoretical length in both directions. So we can set uh, the, the length of the member. And also if we go to the, to the check and to the code setup, we can set uh, the, the whether the structure is braced or not. Yeah. So uh, these uh, these are important parameters which we need to set. And according to this setting, uh, uh, program automatically calculates uh, the limits for the classification. So as you see here, we have the limit va value for the rigid joint and the limit value for the uh, pinned joint. So and we can also see. 
uh, them in the in in the in the diagram. So here we have the the blue uh, line for the pin joint and the orange one for the rigid, and uh, that's uh, our classification of the connection. Okay, the next one. Okay, thank you, Martin. Uh, the next one uh, does idea statica take a into account the stiffness of welds for calculation of stiffness. yes yes uh, if I go again to the to the settings as you see we have a possibility to set up as a weld stress evaluation and the plastic redistribution and if we use this option the welds are automatically modeled by a, as a fine elements we can see for example if I if I show you the the stresses so here you see the real elements which are were used for the modeling of the welds and in this case we take into the account the plastification of the welds and also it's uh, covered or taken into the account in the stiffness analysis okay and the the next one can we calculate the stiffness in other direction maybe we just saw uh -huh. yeah uh, we uh, we already mentioned that uh, if we check the setting in the load effects, here we have the possibility to define the, also the bending moment in the, in other direction. And if I set this uh, bending moment, or if I set also the normal force, then uh, the analysis is calculated also for the uh, another direction. So we can receive the stiffness in both directions and also in the axial uh, direction of a member. Okay, uh, then we have question related to the import from Tecla. Mm -hmm. Where, when importing from Tecla, the weld sizes are not imported correctly. The mm -hmm. leg length is from Tecla is taken as the throw with in Statica. Is there a fix for this as you didn't make any adjustment to the weld size? I think that this is already fixed. I think that it was in some older versions uh, that uh, some welds were not correctly imported and also it's, as you see, it's uh, quite important to check uh, the type of the weld, whether, whether it's imported correctly and the size as well. But I think that this issue is already fixed in the latest versions. Okay, uh, another one. Does IDEA account for bolt holes in the tension flange of a beam if it calculates MRD. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? I think yes. Uh, I think that, the, that that's about that the whether we take into account the holes and, and uh, to on the on the let's say the stiffness or the capacity of the beam. Yeah, as you see, the whole beam is modeled by fine elements and we can see some peaks of the stresses, maybe also the strain, maybe let me, yeah, you can see some strain around, for example, in this case, around the holes. And uh, it's, uh, so it means that we take into the account, yeah, this, uh, this holes uh, and it has an influence on the results, of course. Okay, thank you. And are we able to obtain the percentage of connections rigidity through the uh, moment and torsion diagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not a directly the uh, in percentage, but as you see here, we have some values in the diagram. So here we have the the maximum bending moment, which uh, is the of let's say the capacity of the beam, this MCRD. Here we have the bending moment, uh, the maximum of our connection, when we take into the account the resistance of the, of the whole uh, connection. And uh, here we have also the value of, of the current load. So here you see the current load, and we see that there is a still quite big resistance to our maximum uh, capacity of the, of the connection. Yeah, which was in our case 30 kilonewton meters and uh, the current uh, load is only 10 kilonewton meters. So here you can see some ratio between these values. Okay, thank you. And another question uh, for the stiffness calculation, it is possible to input shear loads 
Should mm -hmm. I only input the bending moment to get the correct value? I would say yes, because if you just need a classification that is more clear to put it uh, just a bending moment. Of course, it's possible to apply it as well uh, with the with the shear force, but in that case, you need to take care about the ratio of both uh, internal forces. Yeah, for, because in that case, we you will just receive the classification for this set of the internal forces. And also, as of course, it could have some small influence for this classification of the initial stiffness. So, I would just keep, for the classification, I would just keep the bending moment as an input. And, okay, thank you. And the uh, last question is related to Tecla link. Uh, can I link Idea Statica connection to Tecla 2017? Uh, yes, uh, this is uh, this we are going to release in fact today because now we are uh, releasing a new uh, version, a new patch of Idea Statica uh, and uh, the Tecla link is available already there. Maybe just let me show uh, if I start the, the Idea Statica. Okay, here. And uh, if I go to the uh, uh, BIM uh, links, then you see that there is already new uh, Tecla 17 available. So this will be, in fact, uh, this will be released today. Okay. So if uh, that's all. Yes, that's, that's all for now. Uh, there is no other question, or I don't see any other questions. Let's wait for a second if there is something new. Okay, you can, uh, anyway, you can send any question uh, to, to our email, so we will uh, answer it uh, after the webinar and uh, also till Friday we will send you a link with uh, this webinar and uh, we are happy that <laughs> you joined uh, today and uh, thank you for watching and uh, listening and uh, we will we will be happy to see you on uh, next webinar. So thank you guys for today's presentation and uh, goodbye.